Hello there, welcome to our tutorial on light syntax, uh, otherwise known as hash light. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be explaining what hash light is, uh, how we can turn it off or apply hash light to our F sharp applications. Throughout the rest of this course we will be using light syntax, mainly because if our code uh, has light syntax, it's easier to read, we can nest statements and we don't need to bother with extra tokens like uh, semicolons and other things. And also F sharp, uh, really if we have light syntax on, uh, it enforces sanity checks. Uh, it just it just really allows us as developers to forget about the awkward little semicolons at the end of every line and uh, single and double semicolons uh, with F sharp and in uh, objects also. Um, so we're going to have a look at two examples: one with light syntax on and one with light syntax off, and we'll talk about the differences between the two. So as you can see, uh, if light syntax is on, we've got a hash and a uh, light word here, and it's pronounced hash light. And we usually put the top, uh, place this at the top of all of our uh, source code pages within an F# -sharp application. So this tells the compiler we're using light syntax for the remainder of this uh, F# -sharp file here. So let's uh, make a very uh, simple value. Uh, We'll just call it uh, var uh, and set it to the value 5. Um, and we're going to say, I don't know, if var equals 5, then print f. We'll just get it to output 5. And if it's not equal to 5, We'll say not five. The uh, value and if statement here uh, aren't really important as part of this tutorial. I'm just really explaining how uh, light syntax uh, differentiates our code from uh, non-light syntax applications. So if we compile uh, this piece of code here, we get the value five because we've set uh, this variable well value here to the value of 5. If we set it to 4 we should say not 5 and that's really what we want to do in this very very simple application. Now if we set the light syntax to off we may receive a few errors in our application. It's because now light syntax is off uh, we are requiring to have uh, semicolons at the end of certain lines and statements within our code. So because we're missing a semicolon here, it's throwing an error with the uh, following line, which has code in it, which is this if uh, keyword here. So in order to satisfy uh, non-light specific applications, we need two semicolons at the end of this statement two semicolons at the end of this statement. This is uh, all treated as one long statement. We can have it on one line if we wish to. And it's ended by a double semicolon. So, And also we need a double semicolon at the end of this line here. So if we attempt to execute the program now with light switched off, we get exactly the same results as we did when we had light. And these are the differences really. Um, when light syntax is switched off, the uh, position of our coding doesn't really matter. We, c we can use tabs, we can use spaces, it doesn't really matter. Because when we run the application, we'll always get the results because it's using these semicolons to tell the compiler, okay, we've ended a line here and we've uh, started and ended a line here between the semicolons. So it knows where the code is, so it doesn't need to necessarily worry about spacing beforehand. If we switch light back on, we might get some sort of error here. Tabs are not allowed in light code. 
and let's put a few spaces here also if we uh, try and execute the program now it may succeed but we are receiving sort of warnings about our coding if we uh, put this uh, if statement back onto a new line here we're getting uh, another warning here possible incorrect indentation the token is offside at starting position this is because with light syntax we do need to make sure that our uh, sentence, uh, uh, sentences of code especially are uh, indented, indented by four spaces and we cannot use tabs to do this it must be four spaces there are um, options in Visual Studio to convert your tabs to spaces uh, this is the default behavior when we install F Sharp so if we go to view within Visual Studio and click oh sorry if we click tools it is uh, and options we get another window pop up if we scroll down to I believe it's text editor and F Sharp and expand this and click tabs we can uh, control the behavior of what happens when we press the tab key on the keyboard so we want the tab size to be four spaces and we'd like to insert spaces instead of keeping the tabs you can modify this for numerous languages within Visual Studio uh, the default behavior is to insert spaces but I've changed it to tabs beforehand to show how this behavior uh, is rejected um, with uh, light applications so we need it to say insert spaces of uh, four characters so now when we press the tab key it's actually identified these as spaces which is very useful when we develop uh, F sharp applications uh, so when we have light syntax we do need to remember to keep our things indented uh, with light syntax also we can keep the semicolons they are just optional um, so that's something to bear in mind um, it may be useful to use semicolons as a method of practice whether you're using light or not um, some people prefer not to use light if they want uh, to support say OCaml which is uh, really where F sharp is founded upon uh, another language which I explained in the introductory uh, tutorial and this makes it uh, portable and compatible with that but um, for the purposes of F sharp we're going to use light syntax mainly because it's a uh, easy learning curve throughout these tutorials to use light syntax and you will also find uh, looking on Google reference sites and other coding sites uh, there are a lot of examples out there quite the majority that do use light syntax and for obvious reasons it's easier to read and if we wish to use uh, non-light syntax then we might as well do a tutorial on OCaml for example so this is what light syntax is and this is why we're using it within F sharp and these uh, future tutorials so um, I'm Sean Greasley thank you for listening uh, to the tutorial on light syntax <laughs>